Six Sky Eye over emergency repairs to a manhole cover in Saugus. It came loose on the very busy Route 1 early this morning. Now, MassDOT and drivers have been on high alert for any loose manhole covers following a deadly accident on the expressway where one manhole cover crashed right through the windshield of a Milton art teacher who was on her way to work. All of a sudden I hear a clunk and then the engine stopped. And tonight we're hearing from that limo driver who had a very close call of his own with the manhole cover in Wayland. Let's get right to Christina Hager. She's live in Alston on this story tonight. Christina? Well, Paula, first of all, we just got an update from state transportation officials on that loose manhole cover in Saugus. It has been welded shut, and we're told it was the result of some road work going on and that the subcontractor doing that work has been suspended. And this now, of course, raises questions about the safety of all manhole covers in our area. Howard Kaufman thinks about it every time he gets behind the wheel. He's a limo driver and was on the job last week when he hit this manhole cover. All of a sudden, I hear a clunk. I get out of the car, and there's gasoline pouring all over the place. He later snaps these pictures where the cover had flipped up and hit his gas tank. According to the Wayland police, yes, I was lucky because the, uh, any spot could have uh, set that uh, car ablaze if it be in it. Manhole covers. The very sight of them has been top of mind ever since 35 year old Caitlin Clavette was killed on the expressway back in February. A Boston sewer cover flew through her windshield. Now, state transportation officials say they've stepped up inspections. And according to a statement from the highway administrator, will throughout the course of regularly scheduled replacements, maintenance, and or construction, install bolted down manhole covers in high-speed travel lanes. That means some drain covers like this, held down by weight and gravity, will be replaced by ones like this, fastened with bolts. It may have prevented this cover from loosening on a manhole on Route 1 in Saugus this morning. And Howard Kaufman says it would make him breathe easier every time he looks out the window at one of these. I, I try not to go over manhole covers anymore. <laughs> Well, the state has stepped up its manhole inspection schedule, checking more manholes more often, and spent today re-inspecting all the manhole covers in Route 1 construction zones after that incident in Saugus. Christina Hager, WBZ News. David, back to you. Christina, thank you. Surveillance pictures.